G'day guys and girls, my name's Jeremy Gray and welcome to another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine Test Drive. And today we're here with uh, Brett from Shorex. How you going, Brett? Good, Jamie. How are you? That's the way, mate. Really good, mate. Really good. So, look, we've got some fantastic buckets here, mate. What, what do you want to tell everybody what we're going to be looking at today? We've got uh, got the attachments here off the, the 35 tonners. Okay. Um, we just wanted to run you guys through it and show you the, the little changes that we've made to our attachments to make them what we think apart from the rest. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, Jamie, so there's a few big things that we think that we've changed um, to set the buckets apart from everybody else. Perfect. So what we've done is we've made them uh, low in the head, which brings the, the front pin close to the edge, okay. which gives you good breakout, good performance. We've made them long in the front, yep. uh, which makes the buckets very easy for picking up that, you know, the last little bit of rubble that you've got at the end of the job that nobody knows what to do. <laughs> uh, we're making the buckets a little bit longer at the front. It's very easy to flip that into your into the back of your bucket. It makes clean up a breeze. Okay. Um, but like I say, getting them now nice and low and close gives you good bulk out performance. Um, and it also takes a lot of load off the bucket. So, you know, okay. where buckets are wearing out in, you know, a thousand hours, yep. we're not seeing that with these buckets. Perfect. Um, the other couple of things that we've done is not what you can see on the bucket, but what you can't see. We put a, uh, a three-point head in it, so they run a head plate, they run two lots of boxing, um, and a lot of manufacturers are not doing that nowadays because it, it makes their buckets cheap and quick to, yeah, to okay. manufacture. Yep. We're putting the time into it, we're putting the steel into it, yep. putting strong backs in there where you can't see, yep. and that's just giving us so much last and, and stopping the bowing and the bending in the buckets, which is huge. Perfect. Oh, well, mate, well, why don't we fire it up and we'll, um, we'll have a look at it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that'll be great. Perfect. So we've got Heath Thompson from uh, H. Thompson Projects who's joined us today to put the uh, Shorex buckets through their paces. So Heath, you've just had a bit of a wrap around, mate. How did the buckets feel and what were some of the features that jumped out to you? Uh, look, mate, very impressive. Um, obviously, with these newer buckets, from the from the hitch to the blade, it, it's actually been designed a lot shorter. Yep. Um, and that continual roll with the bucket makes it, for, obviously, a lot more breakout force. Yep, perfect. Um, which they've worked on. Also, with this, the, the strengthening, in the, it's in this main boxing at the top of the, the bucket. There's yeah. a lot of strength through it's that top section. beefed up, hasn't beefed it? Beefed up, mate, yeah. Perfect, um, perfect. All Australian made, which, yep. is, which is good too. That's always a bonus, awesome. Exactly. And you got to use a couple of the different buckets today. Did you have one that was a bit of a, a standout for you? Uh, look, I, I was very impressed. I, I'm used to using smaller machines, yep. obviously, uh, with a blade that you can work off. Yep. Um, so to use this one, just picking up the road base, yep. uh, yeah, the mud bucket was fantastic. Yeah, perfect. Actually rolled. There's a the few of the bigger buckets there with, with a lot of, you know, heavy duty teeth and, and being strengthened and beefed right up. Yeah, nice Which mate. can be done, I think, with um, different applications. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, mate. No worries. So Brett, you guys just sort of don't do all the standard off-the-shelf stuff. You guys customise a lot of different things for different people. What are we, what are we looking at here, and um, what was who did this go out to? What was it used for? So here we, here we have Jamie. A, um, I'm calling it a demolition ripper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for want of a better word. It looks pretty deadly. <laughs> it does. It does. This, this one was sold to uh, G and H uh, Civil. Yep. And they're using it for demolition. So they're, they're reaching, reaching up into the buildings, and they're knocking the pieces down one at a time. Jamie, the thing with Shorex Manufacturing is we're a big enough company to handle the big runs of attachments for all the OEMs, yep. yet we're a small enough, bespoke enough company to handle the personalisation for you know things like this, this demolition ripper. So, Brett, mate, thanks so much for bringing your products yeah, down you, for dude. us. The buckets look super tough. Yeah. And, uh, Heath, mate, thanks for coming up to Brizzy with us, mate, and helping Thank out. You, yeah. Perfect. So for guys and girls at home, thanks so much for tuning in for another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine test drive. Make sure you stay really safe on site and we'll catch you really soon. Thank you.